Welcome to another weekly edition of our Stay Smart newsletter and podcast brought to you by Vicinity Corporate Housing, where we try to keep you updated on what we see happening in travel, relocation, corporate housing, furniture rental, anything that we think might be relevant to you and to your company. Coming to you from the middle of Kansas right now, it's kind of a windy day. Um, I was in Wichita this week for some meetings. I'm on my way home to Kansas City. So I'm in the Flint Hills now. Um, it's a little windy, but hopefully this will work out. Some good articles this week. The first one um, comes to us from Vesta. It is the interior design home staging company. They announced they acquired both Furnish and Feather Furniture Rental Companies. They're both direct to consumer furniture rental, furniture subscription models. Uh, Vesta announced that they've acquired both of them this year. They're gonna keep all three of the names under the showroom umbrella. Um, kind of interesting to see both Furnish and Feather have been around for only five or six years. Um, they both raised roughly $70 million in investments. Um, there is no financial information uh, announced in this release, but it does look like there's some more consolidation in the industry. We talked about previously on one of our podcasts about AFR acquiring Brook Furniture. So it'll be interesting to see if we see additional uh, consolidation in the furniture rental space. The next one comes from um, Zeus Living. It looks like they may be ceasing operations. They had communicated with their landlords that they were struggling financially and that they wouldn't be able to make payments. Um, so it looks like they're going to be ceasing operations. Is it interesting? Zeus Living's been around since 2015. They had at one point had over 5,000 units in 96 cities throughout the globe. And it seems like they were doing well. Then COVID hit. They've struggled recently the last several years. Um, they had financing from Airbnb. They had a lot of you know strong financial partners behind them, um, but it didn't work out, it looks like. So it looks like Zeus Living is gonna be ceasing operations. Then the next article is about Airbnb acquiring a um, AI company for $200 million. This is a, uh, Airbnb's first acquisition since they've been a public company. Um, Game Planner AI, uh, the founder of this company uh, was one of the uh, founders of Siri. And um, Brian Shetsky, the CEO of Airbnb, has said that generative AI is gonna be a game changer for, for Airbnb. Um, and it looks like they're talking about using this as a kind of virtual concierge and you know, learning from people's travel history and trying to presenting them with accommodation options that's gonna fit um, what they think is gonna be the right fit for them. So it'll be interesting to see how AI fits in this space. Um, and then the final article we have is uh, comes from Virgin Atlantic. They announced that they're gonna be making a flight from London to New York City. Uh, what's unique about this is that they're gonna be using 100% SAF fuels. So those are um, sustainable alternative fuels. Uh, these are non-petroleum based renewable resource fuels. You know, there's been a lot of talk in the business travel industry about you know, sustainability and air travel is one of the biggest you know, kind of carbon footprints of business travel. And this is, you know, to make any dent in that, you're gonna to have to have some sustainable fuel options for, for air flights. So this will be interesting to see how this works. It's gonna be the 28th, they're flying from Heathrow in London to JFK in New York City. So good information about uh, Virgin Atlantic using SAF fuels. Those are the articles that we have this week. If there's anything that you'd like to see us talk about, let us know. If you have any additional comments or questions, let me know. You can leave a comment here or you can email me directly. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see us talk about, let us know. But that's what I see transitioning this week. Take care, everyone.